Hi, back in the garage again. We were here all day. We worked in here all day. It has been quite the operation. Uh, I'm going to give you an update on everything. There's all kinds of good things going on. So <clears throat> over here is the, the pallet wall. So what we did was we cut them all the right, the right size. I sanded them all. Then we went to Lowe's and we bought a, um, a whitewash semi-transparent stain. So it's white and you just put it on with a rag. I'm going to put a picture right here of when half of this was stained white and the other half wasn't stained yet. So you could see the difference right here. So this is going to be the wall. And what we did was, if you look under here, you can see how we put the, put them all together. We just lined them all up and put screws on that. On that and that's all, even those little strips were uh, cut from the pallets. So it's all pallets. And, uh, and then this right here is going to be right over here. So we installed, we installed this, this board right here, got screwed right to the ground. And that's what everything's going to go on. And then, and then this board's going to be the sideboard right here, like that. That will go right into that. And then that wall will go right here. It will come up to about right here. There'll be a countertop put on it. And we got this piece cut right here. We just made a template for this. So on the other side of it, it's just going to go like this, just like that. See that? Then it's going to have to be a little extended because it's a little short. So we have another piece to make that. We'll just hook them together up here. And then he's going to make a, a counter space. He was the brains behind the operation. And, um, and I was the good looks. So I did all the sanding. I did the whitewashing. Um, I did some of the measuring. And he did a lot of the cutting. And he, did, he had to pull more pallets apart. So now what I decided to do was I found this fabric that I loved. Uh, I didn't find it at a, at a thrift store. I've been looking at a thrift store. I wanted to find a fabric that had like, uh, like plants, greenery, leaves, um, so that I could almost feel like I have all my plants with me. But I don't have the space for plants. It doesn't seem very practical. So I thought, why don't I get a fabric with greenery on it uh as long as because some of them i don't really like the way they look most of them i'm not really crazy about but i found one on amazon and it's a drape it's a drape look at that isn't that lovely so i am going to make one of these pieces of corrugated plastic with the fabric on it and it's going to go right over this <laughs> it's going to be so beautiful it's going to be perfect and then it will have just it will have a countertop but it's only probably going to be about maybe eight inches deep just something like i could put a cup down i could put my water down i could throw my keys on it like a little ledge really but how wonderful will that be? This was, I, I saw this and I was like, I hope this looks as good in person as it does uh, in the pictures. And I was like, yup, that's it. That's it. So that's the plan for that whole wall. Right here is where the cabinet doors are going to be cut out. So there'll be, um, we're going to cut out a square right here like this. And the, the hinges will go here. The hook and I will go here. And then right here, another square. Like that. Hinges here. Hook and I here. They're going to open like this. Not like this. They're going to open like this. So when I open this one, 
I'll have access to this very tiny amount of space. It's right here. Okay, so we'll come up to here. But this is where I can fit like a bag of water, two bags of water, because I have three bags of water for my water storage. All the water can fit right there. Then over here, I'm going to have all of this, this deep, this deep. And I thought that this cupboard, I maybe, uh, well, what I'm thinking of is perhaps dirty laundry. That might be a good place for dirty laundry. But then I'll also have all right here. I'll have to access it like this, but I, I'll have this space. Plus I have this little, this little pocket right here with something. Um, not very convenient, but it'll be good. So that's that wall. I'm very happy about that. And then I got something else really exciting was I made my first ceiling panel. How beautiful is that? My blue paisley sky. So you see, I just um, used the, um, the 3M spray adhesive and sprayed it on. And I'll show you what it looks like in place. I haven't installed it yet. I have to, I'm going to install it eventually. I think I'm going to wait until all the construction is over. This one goes right here. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited for my blue paisley sky. So there's the first one all made. There's going to be a lot going on in here. A lot of colors, a lot of patterns, a lot of busyness, and I love it. So now I get something else really exciting. I painted the, this is the Bluetti table. The Bluetti will be under here. I painted this red um, and I put two coats on. So if you remember, again, this is what's going to sit on top of it like this. And then this is going to be the driver's seat right here. I'll be, this is the driver's seat. And that will be right behind the driver's seat. Right when I open the sliding door, this will be here. The hooks will be here for the coats. But now, all right, uh, now I have a story. So about 30 years ago, we went on a cruise and we went to Jamaica. While we were in Jamaica, we bought a, uh, this painting, just a little cheapy doodle painting from one of the street vendors, just those, those fun, feisty Jamaica kind of paintings. And I'm going to put a picture of it right here. So as you can see by the picture, um, each of the characters have color. They have, it's like bright red, bright blue, pink, bright green. So it's all those primary colors, but they're all bright. And I thought like, oh, that would be a fun, I mean, that, that picture has been around this house for 30 years. It's been hanging everywhere. Like it was in the kids' playroom. It was in the laundry room. It's just like, it's always been kind of the fun picture. And currently it's just off the wall. Actually, I, it was just on, in the garage over here, stored off to the side with some other paintings and it caught my eye. And I said, oh, you know, if those, if all the colors in the clothes of these characters on this painting, if they were the, my colors, that would be such a fun picture. So you know what I did? Do you know what I did? I painstakingly, with a tiny, tiny paintbrush, I changed the color of all the clothes on these characters so that they would be my colors. And here it is. So I'm going to put the picture again. Here's the picture of the way it used to be. And now that bright, bright blue is now my blue. That bright, bright Valentine's Day red is now my red. I went with a little tiny brush. I painted every little line. And then I went through it, through it again with uh, a Sharpie 
just to kind of smooth out the, the, the by hand kind of things I did. And you know where I'm going to hang this? Right here. <laughs> How fun is that? I'm so excited. And it's all my four colors. The only, so there's my green, my red, my blue, my orange. The only one I left in the middle, this guy had this purple, purple on. Like this one was yellow. I covered the yellows, the pinks. I covered the pinks, but this, this purple I left. How cool would that be? It's going to stick him right here. It's as light as a feather. It's just this, just this cheapy thing, you know? So that's that story. And I painted my Berkey stand green. And that will be going right here. The Berkey is going to go right here. And, and we're going to cut a hole right here. The Berkey's going to sit here and come through the hole and come up about this much. And, uh, and then I'll have this spot under here for, for some storage. And I was working on my first magnet. So over here I'm putting these magnets in. So it's like these magnet closures. So... Right, so I put the plate on there, I put that there, and then I'm going to put one down the other end, and then do them for the other, the other, the other cabinet too. Get that done. I haven't decided on the knobs yet. Bob is coming back tomorrow, and we're going to cut out the cabinet doors, put on the hinges and the hooks, uh, and then start installing it. We just wanted the the stain to dry overnight, that whitewash stain. So I think that's the update for today. We had a blast. We both re really enjoyed it. Bob was saying that he hasn't worked like this with wood in years. So he was so grateful to, um, to have his hands back in that. And uh, we both really, really enjoyed it. Except it's so cold out here today. My hands are frozen. I had the little space heater on, which is like kind of crazy because the garage door is open and I get the space heater on, but I kept going over to it, going like this. He wasn't cold at all. And um, I've been freezing all day. So I'm going to get in the house and warm up, have myself a nice dinner. I had a fabulous lunch. I'll show you my lunch right here. Now it's time for dinner. And here's my dinner right here. So thanks for being here. Thanks for your enthusiasm and bye for now.